You know those 20 to 30 bathroom selfies that clog our news feeds? But thankfully, I haven't seen too many of those in the past year. Well, those are called selfies. Selfies are considered by the older generation as narcissistic. The word selfie was actually added to the Oxford Dictionary in August 2013, and they define selfie as a photograph that one has taken of oneself, typically one taken with a smartphone or webcam and shared via social media. They also write, occasional selfies are acceptable, but posting a new picture of yourself every day isn't necessary. So, are selfies narcissistic? According to Ryan Renfro, he's a partnering, partnering director at Mars Hill Productions in Houston, Texas. He posted this one and said, if I showed you just the first picture, some of you would make a joke about millennials and criticize us for being self-indulgent. The second picture, the selfie that was taken, this one that I'm showing you now, is one of my favorites of the special group of seminary friends I got to go to the Middle East with. That trip and this particular day are some of my best memories. Not all sel selfies are selfish. Tina and Richard said this after posting this one. My favorite selfie, Tina writes, as we have been through a lot and he is still my best friend. This one was taken in their trip to Hawaii. Kristen from Chandler, Arizona said, this is my favorite selfie because it reminds me of the fun we have on our Disneyland trips. Can you guess the ride? Go ahead and put that in the comments if you can guess the ride. Sarah said, I hate selfies, but this is my favorite because I have been blessed with the most amazing daughter. Selfies evolve like technology evolves. Like Ryan said, not all selfies are meant to be narcissistic. Some are done because no one is around to take the photo of the person. Selfies also include more people in it than just one person. So the Oxford Dictionary is a bit out of date in its definition. Selfies can br be bridges of connection if you can get past your annoyance. It can be an opportunity to give some encouragement, pray for someone, or have a conversation. I have to agree with the Oxford Dictionary people though. You don't need a daily selfie. I mean, would you want to look at this every day? I love you, but I like seeing you living life rather than view your bathroom. I enjoy photos like this one where I can get a glimpse of your perspective and get to know you. So here are some ways you can do a selfie and show your faith, life, and community. One. Take a selfie of you and your friends at a church event. Add a two-sentence introduction of why this event is important to you. Take a, two, take a selfie hiking and show what scripture comes to mind. Three, take a selfie while sick so we can pray with you. Four, take a selfie of something amazing. Why was it amazing? Five, take a selfie with your friends. Tell us, what were you doing? Can we be joyful with you? Six, take a selfie of you and your spouse, you and your boyfriend, or you and your best friend. Tell us about them. Why are they special to you? And lastly, show your faith through your selfies. A picture says a thousand words. What do your selfies say as a Christian? Do you have any other ideas? Put them in the comments or reply to me on Twitter. Meanwhile, it's time for another cup of coffee. I'll see you next Saturday morning, same bat time.